choosing Gon Gon this time for World 4. My least favorite character, may I add, because he doesn't control all that well, but he can destroy bumpers, which is his special ability dealio thing. So I guess they're trying to offset, uh, off, offset, offset the crappy controls of Gangan here, but it doesn't work too well. Anyway, watch, I'll get up to full speed now, I'll try to stop. Yeah, it's very hard to stop with this guy. And these pyramids here have revolving doors. They obviously have a lot of technology here in, these, in this time, obviously way ahead of us, but somehow this technology was lost through time, and then we had to invent our own, you know, moving doors, and it was just a whole issue, and here's a bumper, watch, gone, yeah, that's his ability there, just so I would show that at least once. You can go around the pyramid to collect bananas if you want to, but I don't really feel like it. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump right to the goal. And surprisingly, they reuse the moving door concept right away again in the second level here. And they don't do anything new with it either, so it's it's kind of weird actually. It's just like, yeah, it's it's there, it's not very special. Like I don't really get why they would do that, but okay. Uh, we got ourselves a moving bridge, not that hard as long as you go nice and easy. And boop! And also, there is going to be well, I was going to say more bumpers like that, but no, that's not it, actually. I believe there is another moving bridge, but a lot harder one. Or maybe not. Hmm, maybe I'm thinking of something else. I don't know. This hasn't been very difficult so far. <laughs> um, over here, if you want, there's a banana. Like, oh, I thought there was more down that way. Anyway, we got some stairs here. If you want to avoid the bumper brigade here, you can just go up the left or right side on top of these things, but I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to do it normally. Well, I guess the other way would be slightly easier, I suppose. <laughs> I believe if you have a smaller character, like a Baby, you'll be able to go through this hole and use it as a shortcut all the way to the end, but otherwise you're going to have to go all the way around like so. It's, it's not really much of a big deal here. Just be careful not to run yourself right off the edge with our gargantuan gangan here with his uh, see what i mean about his control i really overshot my roll there <laughs> and your if you want to control his speed your best bet is probably to jump a lot <laughs> like if you want to stop you should try jumping like the little trick that i showed you way back in world one where you can jump off of edges and whatnot and that was ridiculously easy. I suppose it's not that easy if you don't have like a grasp of the controls to keep yourself steady on these thin little platforms, but if you do, that stage is easy. <laughs> uh, this one, you gotta look out for those mole guys. Not Monty moles, they're some new kind of moles. Mole 2.0, I guess you could call them. They are wandering around here and they're gonna try and bump you off the edge. You can try bumping them off the edge like that but they'll just respawn another one, like, a second later. <laughs> so it's, like, not even worth trying. Oh, wait, 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 I don't want to go that way, do I? Yeah, I want to go this way because it's wider. Unless you want to take the other route, which is a lot more dangerous. Hey, you just... Uh, that mole just suicided. <laughs> and there goes another one just plopping right back on the screen. Well, onto that platform. Woohoo! No problem. I think the only thing that you're going to have trouble with in this world is the boss. Oh, Pooper's bonus stage. <sighs> but anyway, the boss of this world is a ginormous dragon, and it is actually like a stage in itself. It's pretty neato, but it's definitely harder than what you're used to up to uh, this point in the game. Anyway, I'm going to try and get myself up there carefully, and then go down the other side carefully. <laughs> oh, control, control, control. Gangan, you will kill me one of these days, and you do lose lives if you plop out of the bonus areas. So, I guess, like, it's a survival thing, if anything, with these boring bonus stages. Um, but most of them won't go out of their way to try and kill you, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. I'm just gonna get these before I go and do the last... Oh man, I got a lot more bananas to do, don't I? Oh, poopers, oh, poopers, I'm not gonna have enough time, am I? Nah, but yeah, there's just that one little, one last booster there left to go. Aww. And number five, I accidentally changed it by tilting the controller. 
but that's okay. And do I want to hit those boosters? I'm I'm a little scared. Oh, that's not that bad at all, actually. Very easy to control. I thought I was gonna have to like navigate around some bumpers or um, jump holes or something like that. But no, that is not the case. <laughs> This is not like World 7, World 8 material, I keep forgetting, I guess. I forgot that Monkey Ball can actually be an easy game in its early levels. <laughs> but it's the later ones, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's all I will say. I got these swinging platforms, not really much of a big deal, just walk on them. Well, roll on them as they come towards you and you'll be just fine. More moles. They're just there, I guess, to be moles, because moles like to wander around like that, apparently. And... Jump to this one, because it's got that little ledge, as you can tell. And this one, too. And straight to the goal. Yeah, I am the manliest monkey ever, he said. Well, that's the translation I got. He didn't really say anything there, I just, I just sort of used his body language. And now we hear, have another odd... Uh, automatic door pyramid. Why? I, I don't... <laughs> well, there's more of them in this level, but I just don't get their purpose. You just have to wait for the doors to open or close. It's, it's not like, you know, you're like trying to jump a gap and these doors are gonna get in your way. No, you can just wait right in front of them and then just casually walk through them. It's, it's no big deal whatsoever. I don't get why they thought those pyramid doors would be some sort of obstacle, or maybe they didn't think that they would be an obstacle. And, but they just kept them in there anyway for variety. <laughs> but it's in there for three stages, so it's like, what the heck? And, and there's, oh, there's some more doors. Oh man, these doors are so hard. They even got red lines on the ground to tell me where the doors are opening and closing to. Wow, that is, that is some extreme difficulty right there. <laughs> and another staircase. I believe there's some bumpers on this one here, but you can destroy them with Gangan. Gan. Or you can't if you're using another character. Uh, uh, don't like using. He's so massive. <laughs> he does do a very good job at uh, stopping bumpers. Like he does. He's not affected by them very much. It must be because of his girth. But uh, otherwise, I still try to avoid the bumpers just in case. And another stage bites the dust. Last stage. Here we go. Uh, what? Which way do I? I guess I can go either way. But I think I'll do it the fun way, just by going right up the center with these boosters for the fun of... Woohoo! The speed! Okay, why would you want to go the other way? That was really, really easy, and look how much time I saved on this. <laughs> Alright, here's the boss stage. Oh, no! I kind of forgot how to defeat him, too. He's like a combination of a bunch of other bosses. Like, I know that's his weakness there. Durr. But the question is, how do I get over there? He's not hes not as wild as he looks in the cutscene, other than his head. So you don't really have to worry too much about getting flung around. See, it's all nice and flat here. Uh, jump on this small with the button. Uh, it'll appear randomly. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Maybe I should have got those bananas for one-ups or something like that. Uh, hit the button missiles to destroy the Z cannons and look out for the other missiles. The Gangan doesn't seem to be phased all that much by them. <laughs> Must be his girth once again, just like the bumpers. I'm just gonna skip these. I don't really even think I have to bother with them. But did I just cause damage to them by uh, touching it or something like that? I'm going to destroy these cannons from a safe distance. Oh boy. By bouncing on the missiles. This would not be safe to do in real life, so I oh, don't recommend it. <laughs> um, stop shooting missiles of doom. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, I don't think so. How do I get over there now? Because he's that thing is like really wobbly. Um, is there? I guess it's not that wobbly. I just gotta push and jump against it. Ugh! Uh, what does this do? Is that one hit kill him or something? Um, apparently. <laughs> okay, maybe this boss isn't that hard. Wow, that, oh my. <laughs> well, that was fun, I guess. Maybe. Could be. Woo! 
And they're gonna make me click through the credits again, aren't they? I refuse to do the credits once again. I already showed that in the first part. No! No, please, God, no. They take so long. Wow, I got first place. I am honestly surprised. Why am I doing so well after all the years that I haven't been playing this game? <laughs> Maybe this game isn't as hard as I remember it, but I know the later stages are definitely hard, but... But I am getting ex- Wow! I, I destroyed my first place score. Well, now it's second place. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part when I start World 5.